Next, Thailand, or rather AIS, will be among the first in the world to launch both the dual mode NSA as well as SA 5G services. NSA refers to non standalone, whereby 5G de deployment is using the existing 4G core. SA, or rather standalone mode, refers to 5G deployment using a new 5G core. For a mobile operator embarking on 5G, usually meeting high data speed for customers, 5G using NSA is actually sufficient. This will also allow an operator to leverage on the existing 4G investments. But however, the real deployment for 5G is actually in the standalone mode. Standalone mode for 5G allows all the capabilities to be utilized, such as high speed, high capacity, IoT, as well as network slicing. All these are important, especially for business use cases. We will be launching 5G SA in July of this year. One of the benefits of moving to SA mode is what we term network slicing. Network slicing allows an operator to create dedicated virtual networks on top of a physical network infrastructure. This allows an operator to create virtual networks with its own characteristics and identity, thus fulfilling the different requirements of specific applications. This also allows an operator to have flexible and scalable network slices on top of a physical infrastructure. I will show you a short video of how network slicing works. Okay, as an example, a network slice targeted for AR, VR will require high speed and high throughput and low latency. Whereas a network slice supporting IoT will require extreme reliability and low speed. A 5G network has all the capabilities, but not all capabilities are needed for every application. As I saw in term, it's not like a normal 4G network where it's a one-size-fits-all. 5G allows an operator to slice different networks to target different applications with different requirements. An obvious benefit of network slicing is that an operator can use certain portions of the network to meet the needs of different applications. This results in less complexity of the network, better or rather optimized costs, and even faster deployment. In July and August, we will be trialing network slicing with two applications. This will enable us to experiment and determine the full capabilities of a 5G SA network. This year, we are pleased that we are again adjudged the world's strongest telecoms brand by Brand Finance. We have been given this award for the second year running, and we are extremely gratified and humbled by being given this award. This would not have been possible without the strong collaboration from our partners, our network vendors, our channel partners, our business partners, as well as the staff of AIS. 5G investment is a necessary investment for us for the long term. And we hope that we will continue to get the strong collaboration from all our partners. It now gives me great pleasure to invite our brand ambassador, Bam Bam, as well as Lisa, to be on stage. 
Hello, Bam Bam. And hello, Lisa. Thank you very much for joining us on stage. As all of you know, Bam Bam and Lisa are our brand ambassador for the past two years. And we are delighted to continue our collaboration with them. Today, they are here in holographic form to participate in our event. So thank you very much, Bam Bam. And thank you very much, Lisa. Thank you.